So before we move on to the November 23rd show, I want to do hi- highlight some a couple of the matches from the uh, Goldar show that I did get to watch. I did get to watch this one. I didn't get a chance. I haven't got a chance to watch the world mat- title match or the TLC match. I watched the two prelim matches for the Moneyball tournament, but this match was absolutely phenomenal. Kyrie, who I found out was working on a sprained ankle through this weekend. That include that this show and at the November 20th show the, d- the day after. She went 30 minutes with Sayakama Tani in a 30 minute draw. And an absolute, like, this match was 30 minutes. I watched it. It felt like 15. Like, it was one of those shows where you don't even notice the time. Like, it felt, it didn't feel like a 30 minute. It felt, I, when it was over at 30, I didn't even feel like 50. I felt like maybe 15 minutes had passed. It was one of those kind of matches where it just there was so much and it was so enthralling that it doesn't feel like it takes that much of your time. And I absolutely, absolutely like encourage anybody to go out and watch this one. It was absolutely phenomenal. And then you have the oh, sorry, go ahead. No, no, it, it just really does speak to to the wrestlers and and their the ability to entertain and to wrestle. That that the match did not feel. Like it was as as long as it has because you and I have both been in matches or not been in matches but watched matches where you're like this has to end and it's only why is this hot forty hot minutes hot. long oh. <laughs> or why is this twenty five minutes long what the hell and it feels like a, like yeah. but this was not it and then um, from all reports again I haven't gotten to watch this match yet just life has been busy wrestling has been so much of it um, Siri versus Tommy I shoot it. A lot of people are saying this is one of the best matches of this year, and it, it, they're saying that like this is in in one of their top matches together. So like I gonna have to go back and watch it because I loved some of the matches they had last year and earlier this year. I want to see this so badly because it, it, it sounds good. Like and again, just timing has not let me watch it yet, but it, it, it's. And then the main event of the show was actually the main event was the Moneyball tournament finals so you had uh donald amanda taking on uh, natsupoy uh or taking on natsupoy tam and waka earlier on in the night and Del- donald amanda winning and then you had uh stars defeating uh the team of amy saray uh my um marai and i can't remember their partner's name Tomoaka Naba. Oh, yeah, Tomoaka Naba from Karate Brave. I should realize that. But again, and they, uh, so Stars won movie, and they ended up with a TLC match in the final. I haven't gotten to see it fully through. I've only watched about the first few minutes of it. Um, but there was, I know of a highlight that I did see on Twitter and hearing on another show. The money ball fell down. The, it was literally a ball of money that was hung, out of the, the Ultimate X or a title. It fell. So it fell out of the Ultimate X way back in the day. So, but again, I've heard it was still a really good match between these 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 six women. And I I, I can't wait to finish the match. I I, I absolutely love Donna Demundo. I'm a big fan of that team. So I I and I highly encourage everybody to check out this Go Rush show. It was it, everything overall was really good. I saw the early stuff. Really good show. So I highly recommend anybody if you if you're really like really check it out, especially those two title matches. It it is a great show overall. But we're going to move on to the shows out in the description box below at Stardom World. And you can, again, we'll, we'll put it down there for you. You can go check it out. There you go. And then we are going to move on to the November 23rd show. Uh, and you have the t- first match of the night is FWC, Hazuki, and Koguma taking on Wingori of Hanan and one of my favorites of all time, Saida. And like, there is one spot here where they hit like uh, dual uh, shoulder blocks, and they both Hanan and Ida did the the gorilla chest like thing. I I was like, yes, I loved it so much. I, I thought really really fun match overall, and they gave a good bit to Ida and uh, Hanan in this, giving them both a great times to shine, especially going up against someone like Kazuki, who is this like insanely fast worker, and Koguma again, same thing, very fast worker. And then they were, they are both teams from stars, which I, I like seeing again. And it's another interfactional fight. And they did, was it Hanan and Koguma did the, the, the bear dance off yeah, the hop together, yeah. but then Hanan goes, try, Hanan tries to take the cheap shot and do a drop kick. So, <laughs> but Koguma definitely knew that was coming. She sidestepped it very quickly and easily. Yeah. And, and then the, the fit, 
Oh, yeah, and the finish of the match, uh, Hazuki gets Hanan in the crossway and turns it into a Rings of Saturn, and Hanan does have to submit in the end. And, like, a, a absolutely phenomenal opener for this show. Yeah, the only thing that I would add to that is that the show of sportsmanship was, was so refreshing to see. We did sort of see it with the way to tie doing their poses after the match, but the show before and after the match was just something that I really liked. And by the sounds of it, the crowd really, really appreciated also crowd finally being allowed to to cheer again. Um, or at least I noticed them cheering a lot for this uh, for this show. Yeah, it's a, it's really on and off what shows are cheering, what shows are not. You can see it in New Japan also. We'll highlight that in a couple of the shows we've watched. We'll, we'll, be, we'll be reviewing on oh, yeah. uh, Friday because I will be pointing out some booing on one of those shows. But yeah. Um, yeah, the, it, it's great to hear the crowd really get behind the bo both these teams in this one. So, 100%. 100%. yeah. So we're gonna move on to the next match of the evening, and this is my pick for the November twenty third show. Um, and it's O two line. It's the team of Azumi and uh, Miyu. Oh, what's her Amasaki. Amasaki. Me. Yeah, I, I just don't have it written here for some weird ass <laughs> reason. Miyu Amasaki and versus. Uh, uh, Micah and Hemeka, who we just talked about from the other show. Again, Micah and Hemeka, just a pure power team. And the power dominance they showed in this match, it, like, for sure. Like, the, the single leg crab that that they, that uh, Hemeka were put on on uh, Miu, and it was Micah's ragdolling AZM on the edge. Just, just like holding, like just throw, like like just doing this back and forth with him on the outside, but Mio did get the ropes, but like just so much good stuff. And then as uh, Azumi hitting that rocket kick, and then gets the drop kicks off the ropes, and then Mio comes in with that pendulum DDT, great sequence, like absolutely get great sequence. Like I, I think all these women are absolutely phenomenal. Like. Uh, my Hemi did get this great spot where they they did the like a forever clotheslines to both to uh, both opponents in the corner where they just close them back close it and it went like a few times so I'm like this is literally the forever clotheslines and I was just like yes <laughs> I was so it made me so happy to see that and then they did the double shoulder blocks nicking them down it was just so good um, Azumi getting a rings of Saturn on Micah but Micah just using her power to just pull herself over to the ropes. Just showing the real power in it. Uh, Enziguri and dropkick in the corner uh, combo. Like Enziguri from the outside, dropkick in the ring from O2 line. And Izumi gets the frog splash for a pin. But Himika did break it up. And she clotheslines the crap out of both O2 line. Just, just double clothesline, just putting them both down. And then My Hemi, and, or My Hemi hit the sandwich clotheslines. And, but Azium gets a La Mystica. But Micah ends up reversing it into a jackknife uh, again and getting the win. So, like, Micah's jackknife is be almost becoming her new finisher here, in my opinion. It really does seem that way. And when she finally does get her, her regular finish off, I mean, it's going to be such a prop for the crowd. But that jackknife has been very, very lucrative for her in this tournament. Mm -hmm. um, as you mentioned, I, I don't have much to add. I mean, these girls, Micah and Hemika, powered the hell out of O2 line. O2 line, I feel, is kind of like the the smaller, high-speed kind of team in this tournament. Um, I'm... I, I was disappointed that they they had they didn't pick up this win, but also not not surprising. I mean, you're going against my Hemi and, and Micah and Hemika have been doing very very well in this tournament, working very very well together. Very very happy with yeah. that. Yeah, and I think there's a, at this point you're looking at teams. I think Ocean Line a win or not, mm. they're not in it. They're 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 mathematically out. There's only a couple matches left for a lot of these teams. And O2 line, uh, even with wins, uh, even though they win here and won throughout the rest, I don't think they could have even pointed properly to get a win due to other losses. Yeah, O2 line with only two points. BMI was already at eight. And it just it did, it just didn't work. It, 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 and I can see why they're putting my Hemi there because they my Hemi got the win here to put them at eight points. So it ties them for first at this point in the night. So, yeah, I think my you're looking at my Hammy as a, as a very possible winner of this block. One hundred percent. 